Hello, let's explore our Adobe Commerce Cloud project together and take a closer look at the project composer JSON and various configuration files that are available for us. So let's switch to our project in PHP Storm and here we can see a content of composer JSON. This content was taken from the public repository uh, called Magento Cloud Template. So if we switch to uh, browser we can see that there is this Magento Magento Cloud repository and here is the template of Composer JSON so I took it and basically paste it here so this is our like starting point and of course you can accent Composer JSON as you as you wish but this is a template right so here in the requires section we have a couple of um, required packages so we have Magento Composer root update plugin this is a tool that helps to um, basically with upgrading uh, version of Magento we have Magento live search so this is uh, for testing that I've been using to to learn and see how live search works and the the first thing actually the the package that is required by Adobe Commerce Cloud is Magento Cloud meta package which means that this meta package contains only a description of um, dependencies. So if we switch to composer log, and uh, here is the, the, the package, uh, Magento Cloud meta package. So we can see that we require Fastly for Magento, uh, ECE tools, PayPal onboarding tool, and also a product enterprise edition, which is our Adobe Commerce. And the version of uh, Cloud meta package is the same as version of our Adobe Commerce instance. If we switch back to composer log we can also see some other um, configurations for for our projects and um, the thing that i'm interested in is at the bottom of this file in the scripts uh, section we have a command called generate schema and we can see that uh, we have a ece tools comment used to generate some schema so if we switch to our cli right now and if we run composer install we can see that every time we do something with Composer, at the very bottom, you will get this script uh, executed. So we execute ECE tools to generate a schema. And uh, here we can see a summary that this file was successfully generated and it's stored under this file name. So if we switch back again to our project, we can see and we can actually find it here, Magento ENV MD. So this file, contains a documentation of um, various options, various variables that are available for us in the Magento ENV file. So whenever there is an upgrade of uh, Magento, uh, Adobe Commerce uh, Cloud uh, meta package, uh, then this file is automatically generated. So you always have like up-to-date knowledge about the latest variables or latest uh, things that were changed in this configuration file. Because we are already in the Magento ENV YAML file, let's stop and actually talk a little more about it. By using this file, we can configure environment variables that are essential for different aspects of the cloud. We can modify variables to manage the build and deployment processes in our environment. And basically the file is divided into two main sections, stage and log. So in the stage section, we have a um, couple of subsections like global, build, deploy and post-deploy. With those subsections, we can configure different parts of the deployment process. So for example, um, in the build um, subsection, we can define like the process of static content deploy. So for example, we have uh, like a strategic quick there are different strategies, but we'll cover it later. We define like the matrix for starting content deploy. So we only want to um, create files for Magento Bucket team and for the English language. And for example, in the deploy, we define some console, uh, cron um, settings. And in the post deploy, we have an option to warm up some pages. So um, those basically variables, settings, options are all defined and described very well in this markdown file so if you ever need like any help you are not like sure about something you can always check this documentation here but also in this file we have this log section and basically here there is login handler that pushes uh, build and deploy logs to other systems so we can configure like login handlers to send messages to remote login server or to messages messaging system like slack or email 
So this can be very helpful uh, to set up some kind of notification system for our projects. All right, so let's switch to Magento Adyam file, which is the file, the main file that describes our Adobe Commerce application. Here we can see that there is a configuration of a PHP version, dependencies, uh, extensions uh, that needs to be installed with PHP. We have a section for relationships, so all of the services that needs to be connected to our application, some rules for web server, uh, mounts that are configured to be read-write and uh, hooks. So this is the section that configures our built and deployment processes. We have a configuration for crons and some variables. So we have a lot of uh, various variables and configuration options in this file. Uh, so to keep this video short, um, because you see there are a lot of configuration options, uh, we will delve further into this file in upcoming videos. Now switch to another directory which is the dot magento directory and we have other configuration files here so here in this directory you can notice a subdirectory called local and two other configuration files called routes and services so in the local directory uh, we have uh, uh, files that are actually ignored by git so for example in the project yam we have id of our project and a host uh, of Magento Cloud and this is actually used by Magento Cloud CLI and here it is all explained in this readme file so we don't need to worry about it it is just a helper directory for Magento Cloud CLI when we switch to root YAML it defines the routing of application in the cloud infrastructure and it determines how the application processes incoming HTTP and HTTPS requests Next to it, we have also a services YAML file that defines supported services like MySQL, Redis, and Elasticsearch or OpenSearch. These services are provisioned by the deploy script using those configuration files and to make the service that is configured here available for our application, we need to also include it in the relationship property of Magento app YAML file. So if we switch to this file again, here we can see that in the relationship we have configured that our database is connected to the MySQL service that is also configured here. So as you can see, we have a lot of different configuration files, options and so on. And I want to show you two more additional files. Um, so there is one file called Magento Vars PHP and this file is used to configure um, setup for multi websites or, or multi stores um, projects. Uh, so here you can like um, define how to resolve your uh, stores or websites. So we will also tackle it in the separate video. And also there is a file PHP ini. So with this file, we can actually configure some different options for PHP. So Adobe Commerce Cloud will use this file. Like if this file is in your project, Adobe Commerce Cloud will use those uh, options to configure the PHP on, uh, on the server. I believe you see how much extensive and advanced Adobe Commerce Cloud is. We will dive into the different aspects of those configurations in upcoming videos. But if you are interested in finding more right now, you can go to the Adobe's page configuration files overview to learn more about topics I've mentioned in this video. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.